So I wanted to talk through how I use FF logs to analyze my parses, um, compare my parses to other people's parses, which will hopefully help me find ways to optimize and improve next week. Um, I think this exercise is very important, um, not during progression, but so much, um, but maybe as you're getting gear week in and week out, you, you'd like to see um, improvement. I mean, assuming you don't die and all these things, but I think it's a fun exercise to improve week in and week out. Um, makes you feel good about yourself. Uh, so first off, the bad way. And I think this is what a lot of people do. Um, and I think it's a not a very productive way or not a very good way of using FF logs. So, so let's look at let's say just you know 11, right? So like, let's say you're 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 you wanted to improve uh, your numbers on on A11, and you basically just filter it to your job, and you're like, holy fuck, those are some high numbers, right? And then you know, you're just, you're just going to look at the top and you know, you're going to see okay, two two machinists, ninja, two astros and you're probably like, man, this comp I wish I had this comp, you know, you'd think that way you know, you'd, let's translate that as Japanese um, you know, you click on it, you click on the guy and you look at the buffs and you're like yeah, balance, so Balance is like not. It, it made FF log somewhat not very interesting because it hides, um, somewhat masks your uh, deficiencies. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this guy is like really fucking good, right? But at at first glance, you're like, man, he had 100% balance and he had the god comp. So I need the same thing to be competitive. So for me, I don't treat it that way because that's really that's just the reality of FF flocks. People just cheese their way to the top. That's that's no fun. For me, it's more about how to improve like based on how I'm playing the job, right? So so I think that's not a very good way of trying to improve um and uh I guess the last thing I want to say is that, you know, if you focus on just like the top three or five or ten players for, you know, for any given fight, and you focus on just the the number that they're doing and how you think there's no way I can hit that number, then yeah, you might get salty, you know, and uh, that might be more your problem than uh, than anything. But uh, anyways. So I'm going to compare two parses here, and the one on the right is uh, my parse, where we skip both Lapis and the second dice. The one on the left is a similar fight, uh, similar kill time as well, so that's a good candidate for comparison. Like le Let's say the Dragoon on the left actually did like 150 or even more uh, DPS than I did, and uh, it wasn't balanced, right? Maybe I looked at it and they, uh, like we had the same balance up time, or uh, I actually had more, and how are they doing so much? Um, maybe they had to LB, but whatever. Like, let's say everything else was the same, but it's just maybe they optimize better. So you, you, you don't want to compare yourself to the top parts because the fight is probably completely different. Um, you want to look at a similar parts. So let's look at the tabs here. I'm just going to ignore all of these and go straight to the cast. So I like looking at the cast tab because it sort of indicates if they're actually pushing their buttons, right? Um, this is sort of just a, a, a quick check because a lot of things affect CPM, such as uh, Fey Wind, um, Latency. So I think on this fight I actually got a lot of Fey Wind, so it's naturally higher. Um, but it should be similar. Um, we could look at the cast right now because you know maybe it'll show that they use the cooldown one more you know one or two more times than I did um, but we're not gonna do that yet uh, because I want to look at that later when we look at a specific phase so 
after this, let's look at buffs. You know, this is this is probably the most important tab. So let's uh, focus on the person in question. And uh, here, this is where buff alignment can be figured out. This is where you can optimize your buffs, right? So let's, let's look at mine. I had five blood for bloods and six IRs, and I lined it up one, two, three, four, and the four was the god line up here with internalities, litany, and pot. So that was the last push. Like, let's look at his, right? He's got, he's missing an IR cast. I had six, he had five. So that is probably bad um, because I did get full usage out of all these IRs. So looking at his, it lined up here, the, the ob obviously in the opener, lined up at the start of last phase and didn't line up at the end. I think this IR probably should have just sa been saved right at the end. Um, probably the same for this power surge because you didn't get another one. This litany, wait, uh, this litany is, is fine, but I think the problem here is that they used IR before the first limit cut because that actually didn't change the timing of IR at all, right? They actually, the reason why they have one less cast than I did was because I popped mine, I popped it twice during the fire phase. And it's still lined up for the first one and the last phase. So this IR is just completely better than not using it. Um, it's questionable if IR should be saved, should be lined up for uh, blood for blood. Maybe it's better so to get a really good push for Lapis. So we actually didn't skip Lapis without having to use LB. Um, we pushed it like 62.1 or something, so that sucked. Um, it would have been nice to not have to do that, not to have to L not have to LB. So one thing I am noticing here is that the la my last life surge was basically without any buffs here. It had maybe a balance. Um, look at the Fey window. Um, I should have saved the life surge at the end and life surge the full thrust. So that's one optimization that I got to remember. So I want to go back to the cast tab, but now let's look at a particular phase, which is the fire phase, and see where I could have optimized or they could have optimized better, right? So let's zoom in on that phase. So just one note is that I did have to LB at the start here because we didn't push Lapis very well. So let's go to the cast tab with that zoomed in. Let's remove that. So first here is that I look at is how many times off globals were used, right? So let's look at leg, leg sweep. So I use legs, leg sweep five times, they use it four times. So automatically they lost a cast there. Um, I don't know, maybe leg sweep lined up better here and there, so maybe overall potency wise it would have been better. But you know, like that that's that might be it's, it's, it's hard to say, right? Maybe maybe it is, but like just look glancing at it, they lost a leg sweep. Then let's look at your Skogel, which is you know very important for Dragoon. Um, I had four casts and they had three. So that one that one is pretty bad because looking at it, they only popped Blood of the Dragon once. I popped it once as well, and looking at the phase, this was, you know, almost basically like 140. Maybe I could have even gotten five. I don't know. So this one is not very good. Real quick, let's just look at damage done. Uh, Gear Skogel, three casts, three hits. And Gear Skogel, four casts, six hits. Uh, I think that hit, yeah, that hit, that I killed the pauldron. Wait, what? Overkill? Oh, overkill. Okay, whatever. Whoever killed it, it should have been mine. Anyways, let's go back to the cast tab. Uh, let's look at jump. So jump was fine. Three. 
Life Surge 2, Life Surge 2, Power Surge 2 versus 1. Internal release 2 versus 1. So this is where the difference was. I popped internal release towards the end of this phase. And um, this phase, so let's so let's look at that, right? Like maybe that internal release was not good because maybe I popped it but I didn't get much value out of it. But it did result in it lining up better in my last phase because I lined it up twice with blood for blood, right? Um, real quick, to, let's just let's just look at the phase again, right? So it it ended at 412, yeah, 412, and I pop I popped internal release. Okay, that was hard. Internal release at 352. So that means I basically got full value out of it. Maybe not the best value because it didn't line up with anything, but I did still use it. And I still got an extra power surge. Um, wait. So, so looking at it, comparing the two parses, I think I did better in terms of popping things during this phase. right? The so last thing I want to look at is uh, a monk parse that I uh, recently just did on my monk, my main. Uh, so my alt is still monks, uh, feels roasted man. And um, I want to look at monk real quick because a couple of the things that I talked about uh, were Dragoon specific, you know, like your skull goals, uh, lining up blood for blood much better uh, with, with litany. And uh, trick attack because you know blood for blood is much stronger on 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 dragoon, so it's really really important to line that up well with um, a lot of party buff because you know like the DPS graph of a dragoon is has higher peaks and uh, you know lower lows, right? So it's more it's very important to get a much higher peak, you know. Uh, so a couple of things that I used to look at, you know when I monk, right? Like if I just looked at damage done. So okay, so the casts and lining your buffs up, that's that applies to all DPS classes and probably like, you know, tanks and healers, whatever. Um, but a couple of monk specific ones are mostly you can find that in the damage uh damage done tab and the first thing I look at is boot shine crit, right? So a good monk will crit the boot shine. Uh, it is somewhat challenging, uh, you know, when the boss is turning, uh, or you were forced to the flank, or you're forced to the you know frontal, where you can't hit the boot shine. You know, if you're forced to the flank, you should you know, just use dragon kick so that the next time you get to your opal opal form, you get to boot shine. But here, I got 100% boot shine crit and over. Nine and a half minutes, that's pretty fucking good, right? I thought this was a fluke until I looked at my best run on Feels Roasted Man, and somehow I also create 100% of the boot shine. So it wasn't a fluke. I'm, I guess I have A12 on lock, at least boot shine wise. Uh, the next thing I look at is um, Demolish. So. So the thing with monk is that you have plenty of options on how to, you know, buffer, get get the seventh tick back from demolish, you know, by using a filler like touch of death or fracture, or well, preferably both. And uh, what I look at with demolish is the ticks per cast, right? So demolish, I cast I cast it 23 times and I got 143 ticks, and that is about. 6.2, right? 6.2 t uh, ticks per demolish cast, which is probably okay. Um, th you know, there are some like on on 12s particularly. The boss does fly away uh, multiple times, so you you know it's inevitable that you will lose a tick here and there. Um, but that is one way to compare. Like, let's say you're going to compare 
this monk pars to your monk pars maybe you can look at the, you know like how many ticks per demolish that they're, that they're getting right if it's under five I, I mean under way under six that's pretty i mean if I'm under five i don't know what the fuck they're doing um then that, that's the same thing applies to touch of death right you know 12 casts 113 ticks that's about 9.42 that's pretty good actually usually uh, people will put a touch of death at the wrong times because then it probably was a waste uh, like math wise if you're not gonna get at least eight ticks a touch of death it was better to fracture same TP cost but you'll actually just do more damage um, maybe my math is off whatever whatever there's, there's some threshold there you know same thing applies to fracture four nine ticks nine that's 5.4 so I wasn't losing a lot of ticks, so I think those are pretty solid percentages. Um, but yeah, that that is that is one uh, you know, a few ways to like optimize monk. And uh, even though TP isn't the problem in this fight, so fracture is a way to dump TP uh, for monk, and you know that allows you to recover a seven tick of demolish. And usually, what I would look at is TP. So, sort of like this phase right here, you can see that I actually never bottomed out. So this is uh, during the time and might leading up to you know, Sonic Boom. I definitely could have used more Fracture or could have used more Armor the Destroyer and the adds to actually dump that TP. So, as a monk, if you end close to zero and never bottom out, like you're, you're not actually waiting for the TP tick, it's a good sign if you're actually able to dump your TP. I mean, assuming you're using your Invigorate at the uh, the right time. So you don't have to look at TP all that much for Dragoon, but for Monk, I think it's a much it's a better indication. Like if they're actually you know abusing Fracture or abusing Rock Breaker or abusing Armor Destroyer um, to actually dump that TP. So that's it for this video. Um, First, I, I want to apologize for the length of it and the sort of like uh, all over the place discussion here and there. I, I didn't really have much of a plan. I just sort of just went through it. Um, but I think it's important for the community to understand that FF Logs is not just about uh, comp cheesing and balance, like stacking to achieve numbers, right? Like people do use this site to optimize, and you know, it, it, the the tool might might look daunting with so much data but if you just know where to look you know you'll you'll be able to find ways to like optimize and improve week in and week out you know, so the, the these top speed speed runners they don't just go at it and just pop you know use their cooldowns like they don't just like do all those things without analyzing the pre uh, you know the uh, previous logs you know it's 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 interesting like when you find it, it feels good when you find like a new way to optimize and ju just by looking at the log like oh we could have just saved this here and pop that there it'll line up better or last time I used this here I could have just I, I'll only get one more cast of it so might as well just save it here save it for this part so yeah I hope this was helpful um, until next time <laughs>